Hi, it's Jimmy McIntyre here. In today's tutorial, we're going to look at five great blend modes that can make your workflow much easier and enhance your images with a click of a button. The very first blend mode we'll use is Lighten. Now this is great because it compares two layers pixel by pixel and it only keeps the brightest pixel between those two layers. So for example, we've got this long exposure sunset shot and I want to add some city lights into the buildings. An hour later I took another shot which has those lights. Now I want to blend these in very quickly and I can do that by changing the blend mode to lighten. And that quickly, we can smoothly and easily blend city lights into our cityscapes. And if you feel the effects a bit too strong, you can just lower the opacity. Now this works because most of this exposure, the nighttime exposure, is darker than the exposure below, except for the city lights. And that's why they remain visible. Another example of the light and blend mode is if you have a shot like this with a nice dark sky and you want to add the Milky Way to it. Well, we have a second exposure here, but this time with the Milky Way, and all we need to do again is to change the blend mode to lighten. However, this time we just have to create a mask and paint out much of that foreground so we don't have any of the Milky Way going across our buildings or anything like that. Make a smaller brush and just paint along the edges there. Now, we don't want the Milky Way to be too strong or look too out of place, even though it already does. So we can reduce the opacity to around 50%. And there's the before and after, and that looks much more natural. A final example of the light and blend mode is when you have cityscapes like this and you have some beautiful car trails. You can add to these car trails if you take multiple exposures and you can layer them on top of each other. For example, I have a darker exposure here, which has a couple of trails going along here and some red trails there. And just as before, we can change the blend mode to lighten. And here's a before and after. And you can see a slight change there. But you can use multiple layers. So you can use five, six, seven layers to constantly increase those car trails. Next, we're going to look at two different blend modes that do a very similar job, overlay and soft light. We're going to use these blend modes to increase the brightness of the sunset here. Firstly, let's open up a new layer. And on this layer, we're going to choose a paintbrush, a warm color like this, and we're going to gently paint over the new layer. And I've put the opacity of about 63, just very gently painting over. Now that we've finished, we can change this to soft light. And you can see it's added more energy to our sunset area. If you want to make, the stronger, make a stronger effect, we can change that to overlay. And remember to lower your opacity because that's a little bit too strong. Just a little bit lower, maybe at about 35-ish. And that's a big improvement. It's added a lot more color and energy to the sunset. We can also use overlay and soft light when we have an image like this with no clouds and we want to add some clouds in. All we need to do is go to blend mode and choose overlay or soft light, depending on your image. This time we're going to use overlay. And again, create a mask and just mask out the foreground which you don't want to be affected by the layer on top and we'll change the opacity to 100 percent and here's the before and after if you don't want it to affect the arch at all even though the changes are subtle we can just paint it out with a smaller opacity like that and it doesn't leave any haloing behind or around the arch the next blend mode we're going to work with is Darken, and this does the exact opposite of Lighten. Instead of keeping the brightest pixels, it only keeps the darkest pixels. Now, for example, we have this layer below, which is of San Francisco, and I want to add some birds into this region. I took an image a couple of days later from the same place, the same beach, and I want to very quickly and easily blend the two. Now, to do that, firstly, we're going to go to our blend mode and then Darken. And you can see, while the birds have remained completely visible, some of the background on the top layer has become invisible, but not all of it. So we need to brighten this area in order for it to disappear first. 
The first thing we're going to do is desaturate the layer because that'll make it easier for us. So we'll open up a saturation layer and we'll make it completely black and white. To make sure it only affects this layer, we're going to right click on it and choose Create Clipping Mask. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing with the Levels Adjustments layer. So it only affects the top layer. I'm going to bring the highlights all the way down and by default the midtones will go down as well. And I'm going to bring up some of the shadows. And that's perfect. And finally, I'm going to go to Edit, Free Transform, lock the aspect ratio and just make them a little bit smaller. Put them up here roughly. And press OK. And that's it. Oh, and as you can see, the corner here hasn't been brightened enough, so we need to go back to our Levels Adjustment layer and just slide it along a little bit more like that until it disappears. Next, we're going to look at the Blend Mode Difference. Now, sometimes when you're working with multiple exposures in Photoshop, the Auto Align function doesn't work, so you have to manually align the layers. Now, you can do this by going to your Blend Mode of the top layer and choosing Difference. And you'll see there's some edging here, which tells us that our images aren't aligned. To align them, just go to your Move tool in the top left hand corner, click once on your top layer, and use the arrow keys to move left, right, up or down to align the layers. Just like that. And now we just go back to normal, and we can begin blending the exposures. And finally, we're going to be looking at the blend mode Luminosity. Now sometimes, when we're adjusting the contrast in our images, we'll find that, by default, our colours will also become oversaturated. We might like the contrast adjustments in terms of luminosity, but we don't like the colours that come with it. But that's fine because we can change the blend mode of the contrast layer to luminosity. And you can see that we've maintained the contrast adjustment, but we haven't affected the colours. And that's it for this video. Blend modes are a great way to improve your workflow and extremely flexible, so I hope this video has inspired you to explore blend modes more. If you've enjoyed this video, please feel free to share it with some photography friends or subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.